Hey there, Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for August 24th. And to start off, we are going to the birth of Hal Smith. He was born in 1916. He is an American actor and mainly, well, American actor and voice actor. He did both a bunch. And he's accredited with uh, over 300 film and television productions. So he was born in Petoskey, Michigan, and he spent a lot of his growing up in Mancina, New York. But he made it to Hollywood after serving in the United States Army Special Services in World War II. And I know him best as Otis in the Andy Griffith Show, <laughs> uh, particularly for his acting. And then he was also in a bunch of other shows around that time, Rescue 8, Dennis the Menace, the Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, and the Red Skeleton Show as well. Um, but his Disney connection was a majority of voice acting. He voiced Owl in The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Philip in Beauty and the Beast, uh, St. Peter in Darkwing Duck, and in 1967, when Pinto Kolvig passed away, he became the voice of Goofy. So pretty cool there. I had no idea that Otis and Goofy were the same guy. <laughs> so that's pretty cute. Um, so Hal Smith um, in the 1960s was a hugely sought after voice actor and from doing over 300 productions it's obvious that he took that challenge and he voiced so many different roles in so many other television and movies as well that aren't Disney related. He was in some of uh, the Disney live action films also so look out for him when you're going and watching I think one of them was the ghost of Mr. Chicken so <laughs> you'll have to check that out but um, yeah when you're listening to Goofy later on or um, Owl and the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh that's Hal Smith and he did a great job so next up on this day in Disney, in 1945, the Disney short, The Legend of Coyote Rock, uh, was released. And in this short, Pluto is the main star and he's protecting the sheep from a coyote named Bent Tail. And this cartoon is pretty cool. Pluto does a good job of watching over the sheep, but Bent Tail, the coyote, gives him a lot of trouble. And actually, Bent Tail would appear in four more Disney cartoons, so he was a little bit popular there. And um, in this cartoon, I really like how the backgrounds are. They're just, to me, really phenomenal. They give you that Grand Canyon out west feel with um, the different stacked rocks. Well, not so much the Grand Canyon, but some of the other parks out west. Um, that have really cool different like um, thin stacked rocks and, and, and such and they just did a great job with the backgrounds. Charles Nichols actually directed the short and he was born in Milford, Utah. So that's about three hours north of the Grand Canyon. So just in that area we've you know traveled out there and seen some of the national parks there and just amazingly beautiful and they kept they definitely captured this in this cartoon so i definitely encourage you to check it out and get that you know southwest or just western feel it's also pretty cute watching pluto watch over these sheep there's one a little black sheep who just is never where he's supposed to be but he has a bell so even though he's wandering off or getting in trouble. He has that bell around his neck so Pluto can keep a better eye on him. Just really cute. Go check it out when you have a chance. So that's it for this day. Thank goodness we had, um, you know, Hal Smith and his amazing voice acting as part of Disney and then go check out The Legend of Coyote Rock and there's actually a, a legend to it so you'll have to go watch it to see. We'll see you next time on this day in Disney. Bye!